Hi. Guess who? I'm back to talk to you about coloring your um, finished pieces. We've already talked about how to color them when they're wet in the isomelt by adding our gels. Here I'm just going to show you some simple techniques on how to use your dusting, um, your luster dust and regular petal dust to add some color to them. Um, on these wings, these butterfly wings, there's a smooth side and then the side's got all the detail into it. That's the side that I'm going to be coloring. And I'm just going to take my brush and starting with my dark, I'm actually going to start in here and just start coloring it. Working it in. I'm gonna dab over here and take another color, a little bit lighter. I'm working in purples, shades of purples. But I have this magenta here that I just love and I'm going to actually add it to the very end of this butterfly. Give it all. Now just give it a little tap. And that's what it's going to look like from your clear side. But if you put it together, that's going to be the back side. Just by adding some color to it. Now to get that to shine a little bit, you can simply go over it with a little bit of a, um, a glaze and it'll just shine it right up. All right, so now that you've seen that we can take our dust and just apply them to the sugar when it's dry, I'm gonna show you how you can actually take and then paint by adding a little bit of vodka to your same dust and luster. I have a little gold and vodka and just go in and start painting the veins to give it a little bit of pop. Once you let that dry, you can come back over. I have one I'm going to swap it out with, just like on TV. Once you have it dried, you can actually take another color, a little bit of vodka. Kind of mixed up. We want to use the vodka because it dries extremely fast. The alcohol burns off really fast. And so then I can just come back inside of here and add these touches. And that's going to make a beautiful butterfly. And so I'm going to hold that up for you to see it that way. That's on its vein side. If I turn it, that's on the side that you'll be able to see. So now that we have them colored, we're going to show you in the next step how to assemble them and place them onto your cake.